Hey gang, Private Jack here. This is part 13 of my series on how to convert XNA type models for use in Source Filmmaker. Okay, so we've used XNA LoRa, we've used Blender, we've used BTF Edit now, or sorry, we've used GIMP now to create our textures, and what we have to do now is create the Valve Material Texture File, uh, the VFT file. And what happens is when a model is called by a Valve game engine, or in this case, Source Filmmaker, uh, the model reaches out to touch on uh, the texture files. And what the VMT does is it tells the model what skins it has to put on. So we're going to create the VMTs, and they are simple text uh, files uh, that uh, we can easily create with a program called BTF Edit. Back in part one, I told you where to get it, and back in part two, I told you how to install it. So, we're going to open up BTF Edit, and this is the way you create a BMT file. Go to Tools, Create BMT File. And now we have to tell uh, the VMT about certain the, the certain textures. So click on the triple dots here. It'll open up a file browser. What you want to do is you want to point to Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Source Filmmaker, Game, User Mod, We are materials, models, Ralph. If that's where you told it that you wanted the um, file to live. Now you have to build a VMT for each of the model parts that we're going to be using. So the body is the first uh, VMT we're going to create. So double click on body BTF. Now we're going to add the bump map and this thing should remember where you were. So body bump and the environmental mask. We're going to try something here. We're going to put the specular in there and the normal map. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reuse the bump map and that will just hopefully um, emphasize the bump on Ralph. Okay, now we have to go to options and we're going to change the shader from lighted map generic to vertex lit generic and we're going to change the surface to flesh because this is the body, right? And click on create. Yeah, leave it as body BMT and hit save. Now we're going to go back here to textures and we're going to create one for the eyes. So open this up, open up eyes and there's no body, there's no bump for the eyes, there's no environmental masks for the eyes and there are no normals for the eyes. Go to options, leave it as generic, uh, uh, vertex look generic and have a quick look through here. There, what this is is what sound it should play. If you were building a, uh, if you were building a game model, what sound it should play if it's hit by something. So we're just going to leave that as flesh and hit create. We're going to call that eyes VMT. Save that back into textures, pick up hair, bump map, we're going to load the hair bump map, uh, specular, the environmental mask, we're going to add hair specular, and for the normal map we're going to add the hair bump again, options, and we may as well just leave that as is as well, and hit create. Bring the 
name it hair.vmt and save. Close. Exit. And this process is finished. So we're now ready to start writing the QC. That's going to be a fairly long process. So what we're going to do is we're going to close off this short, uh, easy session and we'll see you in part 14. With that, Private Jack out.